Hiya, I'm Simon Mole and I am a poet. This video is all about descriptive detail and dogs. Pause the video to get yourself some paper and a pen and then hit play when you're ready for our first game. Nice one. And I know that this is a weird way to start a poetry video, but first of all, you're going to draw a picture of a dog. Now, because this is a poetry video, it really doesn't matter whether that's a good picture or not. It may not look particularly like a dog, but what does matter is that you get started as soon as I tell you to, because I'm only gonna give you one minute. And that minute starts now. Get going. We're about halfway there now, so you should have drawn probably about half of a dog. Which half you've drawn doesn't matter to me. Uh, carry on though, keep rolling. Nice one, pens down. So, pause the video for a moment now, just to have a look at the pictures that you and a few of your friends have drawn. Hit play when you're ready to move on. Great, I bet that everyone's pictures look a bit different in some way. That one word, dog, makes us see so many different things. Uh, maybe I see a poodle and you see a pit bull. Uh, now, in some stories or poems, that's fine. It, it, it doesn't matter. But sometimes it is important that your reader or your listener sees exactly the dog or the flamingo or the football boot that you want them to. And that is when we need to use descriptive detail. So, what you're going to be doing in a minute is in pairs or small groups, you're going to make up a dog, an imaginary dog, and you're going to do that one detail at a time, adding it on, passing it around or back and forth. So you might say there's a chocolatey brown dog with a fluffy tummy and short stubby legs. It's got sharp teeth, its pink tongue is lolling out of its mouth, it's drooling, its breath smells of gone off milk, it's got a sparkly diamond tiara, a pirate eye patch, and its growl sounds like a motorbike engine. And you probably get the idea of that by now. So, pause the video to come up with lots of different details about how your made up dog sounds, looks, smells, or feels, and then hit play when you're ready to move on. Great, so you've probably got an awesome dog now with lots and lots of different descriptive detail about it. Now, in most poems or stories, you wouldn't use all of that detail. So, in a moment, your next task is gonna to be to pick two or three of your favorite bits of detail and use them in a sentence introducing your dog. Remember, it is important to think carefully about which detail you pick here because that is exactly the kind of thing that will influence what a reader or a listener thinks about your dog. Do they like it? Are they suspicious of it or disgusted by it? So for my one, I could say there was a dog with sharp teeth and a pirate's eye patch. Uh, but I could also say there was a chocolate brown dog with a fluffy tummy. And although both of those sentences are about my dog, uh, they'd have a very different effect in a story. So. Pause the video to pick your two or three bits of detail and put them in a sentence introducing your dog and then hit play when you're ready to move on.
Great. In a moment, you're going to find a few other sentences that other pairs or groups have written about the same dog, or if you're working on your own at home, just write a couple more using different details from the list that you had. Either way, once you've got a few sentences about the dog, arrange them in an order that you think will sound good, and you will have written an instant poem about your dog. I might start mine off, uh, there was a dog with sharp teeth and a pirate eye patch. Oh, look, Daddy, what a fluffy tummy he's got. Uh, <laughs> you'll see I changed the second line slightly because I wanted to flow differently, maybe bring in a character of some kind. Uh, so you're free to do that, adjust or adapt the sentences slightly as you go. So, pause the video to write your instant poem and then hit play when you're ready to move on. Nice one. Now that you're done, uh, whack up your poems in the comments under the video. And if you haven't already read them aloud to yourself or each other, then when the video finishes, definitely give that a go. And if you are trying to use descriptive detail in a poem or story in the future, you can just follow the same simple steps that we have done today. One, you come up with a lot of detail on a list or a spider diagram. Two, you pick two or three of your favourite bits of detail from there. Three, you whack them in a new sentence describing your thing. That's it. If you have enjoyed the video today and you would like to have a go at the 10 minute poem challenge, you can do that here and you can subscribe to the channel here. Thanks for watching.